Life is wheels within wheels ever turning A jar on a merry-go-round Wow, dramatic lighting. Cool. Um, we're going down memory lane because you know when you have a project that you start and then you don't finish and then it haunts you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. This is one of those projects. What happened is that my very dear friend sent me some lyrics over when I was 15, hoping that we could make a song together. And we did, like I wrote the song. But then I proceeded to make the most garbage Zoom recording. I had not figured out how to set the levels on my Zoom recorder. And so I thought, well, maybe if I put the mic just like really far away, it'll stop clipping. <laughs> It did, it stopped clipping, but it sounds um, like trash. I was unable, sadly, to locate this garbage recording, but luckily, the ghost of this song has lived in my mind for years and years and years, so I still remember it perfectly. And I thought, let's go. We need to make a new version, maybe add some little bits of production, make like a soundscape, and do a proper recording, just like a live performance. I'm gonna play you the live performance, and then after, if you wanna stick around, I'll talk about some of the production elements I used. Let's go. In my headlights, raindrops are falling Like sky tears spun in a swirl And thoughts in my head form a whirlpool Sluicing so I feel their pull you said in the spring I was your pearl I was certain you were my love But the world goes round like wheels go round And now we don't fit at all And my heart hurts and I keep tearing Do I cry for dreams all flown? For feeling thrown out at my Without you, I'd sink like a stone Still this wheel in my hands is steering Steering me far off from you And tires in the rain Jeering, mocking my want of you These miles melt away like our whispers Like promises we would stay true Figured someday Would turn blue You're in my mirror, babe, and I can't complain Cause loving's not lost, always we gain Oh, I can't wipers clear tears like the rain why can't these wheels outrun this pain? Life is wheels within wheels ever turning A jar on a merry-go-round You know those brass rings while I'm learning they pop up as I'm slipping down Yeah, I've been spinning my wheels bad in learning I need now to find solid ground Flush out chagrin inside burning And start fresh wherever I'm bound Still this wheel in my hands is steering Steering me far off from you Tires in the rain, cheering, still mocking my want of you. Of you. Of you. Of you.
Okay, thank you so much for listening. Let's go through some of the production bits. Yeah, so I want to show you the end of the track without the piano or the vocals. So really show you the layers that I added in post. I think it's so cute. So you'll notice it was a live performance. I recorded the vocals with the, um, the mic you saw in the frame. And then the piano, I actually routed the MIDI to Logic Pro. And I'm using a Logic Pro stock piano, the Stainway one. I know some people don't like it, but I like it, so whatever. And I find a way to make it sound better is if you look at my session here, I really just turned down the velocity. I noticed that the high velocity notes on VST pianos sometimes don't sound that great. They sound a bit fake, like they add too many harmonics or something. I don't know. I find that when I lower all the velocity, and I sort of do this by hand, it sounds more muted and mellow and nice. So that's my tip. The reason why I used a MIDI piano and not the sound of the speakers of my keyboard, which is actually nice, is that there's just too much noise. You can hear the plastic of the keys going up and down. I don't like it. I don't have much going on on the voice. It's a live performance. So neither the piano nor the voice have anything edited in them because I hate it when the video doesn't match up to the sound. It really irks me. So I kept the performance exactly as it was. And the only thing I did was turn down the clip gain of some of the regions where I'm breathing so that the breaths are less audible. Like here I'm breathing. I've just made two cuts turn down the clip gain, added some fades. I think it helps. I have an EQ on the voice that removes the low end so that I don't get any pops and stuff. And I have a little dip around 300 hertz because first of all, this dynamic mic kind of has a boost there and my room I think also has one. So I'm just turning it down a little. Then I have this denoising plugin to help get rid of the key sounds from the piano. And finally, there is a compressor. It's the LA28, which is free right now. There's a sale on. You guys told me in my last video. Thank you so much. I'm not compressing much, just a bit, but it adds something. Okay, next is this alchemy, alchemy preset called Alone, which sounds so great. I actually have two of this guy on this track. One of them is pan center, then I wanted more of it, but I didn't want it to sit in the same place in the stereo image. So the other one is panned left, so they're not overlapping. This is what they sound like together. It's cute! On one of these tracks, I did some pan automation, so this sound is going left and right really slowly. Next is a sound called Aurora over Iceland. Again, this is Akimi. It sounds like this. All three of those sounds that I added in post, they're quite muted. I don't think you really notice they're there, but towards the end, they start taking more space and diverging from the piano lines. This last instrument is so great. It's called Space Time Keys, and it sounds like this. It's kind of like a music box or a kalimba, I guess like an out of tune, far away piano. This sound gives me heavy Patrick Watson vibes. And also I'm realizing the end of this piece is kind of like the end of Asleep by the Smiths, which ironically I was obsessed with when I was 15. If you don't know this song, go listen to it. It is... <laughs> But at the end, there is a sort of similar instrument to the space time keys, which plays a very sweet childlike melody with a whole rest of the textures going on. It's so beautiful. And probably I ripped this off unconsciously. I purposefully played not exactly on time. Nothing here is quantized. I wanted it to be sweet and nostalgic. And I think I totally got that vibe going with those three instruments. If you're still here, thank you, you're a trooper. Thanks for indulging me. It's nice sometimes when you can finish something up, even if it's, you know, over 10 years later. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.